Waste time on Game Grumps. Why do you think I made space fights? <laughs> Not that space fights is anything like Star Wars. Be sure to watch space fights on Blizzney Bus. So spoiled. What is this, three years ago? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Shamu! Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Looks like the cover of OK Computer. Try to catch me if you can. Sorry, what's your hotel room number? Why is he staying in a hotel? Ultimate power. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Don't get hit by the bombs. Oh no. Oh no. I have no idea what I'm doing. We am only into otters. <laughs> and I'm not talking about furries or anthropomorphics. I'm talking about real otters. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Here we go. Well, that, I'd started. That was it. Oh, okay. We started. Hello. Um... Also, Aaron, I wanted to tell you something I thought of while you were uh, in the restroom. When I was pissing and shitting? Okay, well, I was gonna leave that up to the imagination. What? What's to imagine? When you say go to the re- what? Was I in there fucking- Well, you don't know which. You could've been crying. That's <laughs> true, I guess I could've. Just really thinking about life and crying. Uh, so yeah, the, um... I was in a convenience store, uh... And it was a convenience store, the kind that, it was like, grungy city convenience store, so it had like different products than, uh, Like a bodega? Yeah, yeah, bodega style. And I finally saw, uh, the Oreo, the most stuff that you've told me oh about. Oh my god, really? It, I've never seen it in person before. It's insane. Yeah, it's like four Oreos. Oh my god. For, for anyone who missed our conversation about that, there's... Regular Oreos, then there's double stuff, then there's what's the next one? Mega stuff? Mega stuff. And then the most stuff. Yeah, the most stuff is like, I, I feel like they made a declaration where like even they were like, all right, this is enough. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need to make more cream in our fucking cookies. We're right? essentially. We giving, got it right the first time. Yeah. We're giving you six birthday cakes at this point. Yeah, that, yeah. The most stuff is. I got it once, and I was like, that's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm done. It's like, it's like funny as a science experiment. Yeah. You know what they also had that I hadn't seen in years, and it took me way back? Um, you know those fruit juice? It, it's like, not fruit juice, I sh there's, there's no juice in them whatsoever. Uh, colored, brightly colored Kool-Aid type drinks that are served in what looks to be a plastic grenade. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, D um, um, oh, fuck. It's, uh, it doesn't look like there's a product name on them. It's, it's, what are they called? They're Kool-Aid, they're Kool-Aid coolers or Kool-Aid chillers or something Are like they? That. Yeah, there's a, there's a name for them. Oh, man. I just saw, like, a wall of them, and I was like, that is crazy. That's, like, third grade all over again. Yeah, that was, like, that was, like, the rich kid snack. Was it? Yeah, if I, if I saw a kid with that in, in, at lunch, I was like, whoa. No shit. Yeah, because I was like, I was not very well off as a child. So right. like my lunches were always like an apple and like an off brand, like, ho ho ripoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a shitty turkey sandwich. Sounds good to me. Yeah. I mean, you know, I liked what I had. Yeah. But like the kids that had like the full on Lunchables and then like. Yeah. The, the Kool Aid tabs. What the hell were they called? Do you want me to look them up? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm curious myself. I'm just gonna type in Kool-Aid grenades and maybe that'll be enough. Or maybe they were supposed to be barrels. No, they're they're like bottles. The bursts. Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid bursts. Is Kool that it? Kool-Aid bursts, yes. Is, is that what they were? Yes. I'm gonna see if that was what... Uh... Okay, let me take a look here. Kool-Aid burst. Maybe we're thinking of something else. I don't- I think we're thinking of something else. Is yeah. Like big tall bottles. Yes, you're thinking of big tall bottles. I'm- these were like these little, short, squat, uh, plastic containers. I don't think they were Kool-Aid, because I think they were more off-brand than that. Are you talking a little hug? Little hug? Hold on. Are you talking about tummy yummies? No, 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 uh, belly washers? Little hug- that's it, Allie! Little hug yeah. fruit, fruit hugs. Yeah. What? <laughs> They're called fruit barrels. L little hug fruit punch drink shelf stable single serve eight fluid ounce bottle 40 case. 
I, purchase. I, I yeah. <laughs> add to yes, cart. Yes, please. Wow, the first thing the first thing that I was able to purchase this on was a, a website called cartnut.com. <laughs> That's crazy. Cart nut? Yeah, but they're these things, if you can look up for a second. Oh! Yeah, remember those? Yeah! Yeah, I've seen, yeah, I've seen those. Oh god, that's very nostalgic. Little hugs. Little hugs. I don't know, that's what they were called. Me neither, I didn't even know they had a name. Yeah, I, I always see those at like, like the dollar store. Yeah, exactly. They just, they're just plastic with a, an unimaginably hard to define liquid inside and a barcode at the top. <laughs> But they're called Little Hug Fruit Punch. Yeah, and they got that like metal top that you kind of got to yes, peel off. Yes, yes. The, the one in that in Danganronpa 2, they called it like aluminum paper. Oh, I guess that's a good way to put it, eh? Oh, we're like, it's not fucking paper. Lord of the board. <laughs> City Escape. Are you the Lord of the board, Aaron? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Look at you. Oh, my God. This just reminds me of like the Simpsons game. Yeah, it does. Bart, Bart versus the Space Mutants or whatever. The one where like he and Lisa are like holding hands, running around like. No, that's the that's the arcade game. Oh yes. Which I don't. He, he doesn't skateboard in that one. Well, not like what I'm thinking of. Okay. He uses his skateboard as a weapon. I yes, that's what it is. Um. No, I'm thinking of uh, the NES games. Oh. I don't know no, if I ever, you know what I'm thinking of? I don't know if that, I ever played those. That's the style of game. I'm thinking of fucking Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout. <laughs> oh shit. Because uh, it's Sylvester. And like baby Sylvester. Stop going backwards, dude. Backwards uh, into the buzz saws. Yeah, Sylvester and little baby Sylvester would would ride around on their skateboard. Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout was a great playthrough. I it was great for me. It was one of those really fun, like three episode. We did the whole game kind of jams. Yeah. That was like right around the time when we were pulling weird shit off the shelf, like, uh, what was the restaurant game? Oh, Panic Restaurant? Yeah. God, that I love ruled. it. It was so much fun. I think that was the last time we were shocked by an NES game being so much fun. Yeah, that shit was awesome. Oh my god, I'm so glad they auto tuned City Escape. Really? Yeah, it's just something really bizarre about like the mixing of the worlds. Because <laughs> it's a butt rock song, and then they made it like a like a share song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you believe in escaping the city? city, city? I can hear something inside my soul. I really think you're the Lord of the board now. Oh, share. Her final, final, final tour. Yeah, she's like Elton John. She's been on that like farewell tour for like seven years. Yeah, like, I get it. I, yeah, it's a smart move. It's, it's like it it it, inc it causes a, a sense of urgency. Yep. And also like I don't know, you know, if you're a musician and like it's hard to walk away from stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, you like touring and you're like oh, I said it was the final tour, but I kind of want to tour again. That, that, and that's the thing. Like sometimes the internet really gets on people. For doing stuff like that, like, you said this was your final tour and now you're going out again, like, it's three years later, but, like, it's very possible that they were telling the truth both times. Like, yeah. they, they, they wanted to, are you alright? What's happening here? Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> um, yeah, like, it's, it's very possible they wanted to quit in that moment, legitimately, and then, you know, three years went by and they changed. It happens. Yeah. Well, I, I bought a ticket to your tour and really enjoyed it, thinking that it was the last time, and now it's not, and I get another opportunity to see you again? Fuck oh, you! <laughs> yeah. This fucking sucks! <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. This $50 I'm spending angrily. <laughs> I'm gonna be there, but I'm not gonna clap as hard as I would've. <laughs> and I'm gonna bring my friends and have a great time, and it's gonna be memories forever. Fuck you! Yeah. Unbelievable. Asshole. I have the hardest life. <laughs> boop, of anyone boop. I know, my life is absolutely the hardest. And that includes me. <laughs> Whoa! Nice. Alright, Sanic the Horge. Sanic the Hedgehog over here. <laughs> the little <laughs> smile and wave still cracks me up to this day. 
That's the kind of stuff that makes me miss cartooning a little bit. Oh, it was so funny. Just those little visual, visual gags. That was my favorite shit to do. I, dude, honestly, like we were talking about the uh, in the last episode, if I'm working on a new Skyhelp album, when the last one was 2007, you definitely can easily come back to uh, another sequel. Oh, yeah, I'm not worried, but like, you know, when I have time. Yeah, exactly. Turtle. Yeah. <laughs> You seceded from the Union! I remember laughing out loud when I drew that Sonic too. <laughs> and, and I don't think the wave was like, included in the original idea, and then I was like, Oh my god, I should make him wave. It kind of reminds me of that, um, uh, what, what's the L.A. Noir detective game? Was it called L.A. Noir? Yeah. It, it was L.A. Noir. Um, uh, the, the one you did for that. Where the guy's drawing a picture of a butt, and he's like, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can imagine that came from a real place." Oh shit, absolutely! <laughs> <laughs> that fucking laughing. <laughs> that's, just, that's totally. That's the I've created something dumb. It's way too genuine. Yeah, and I appreciate so it. It just hits you a little later than you realized. Absolutely. <laughs> so special. Yeah. That's, Oops. That's a personal favorite as well. That was wonderful. I remember when that game was a big deal. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't, uh... And then it wasn't. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't continue with them. Well, it's like this fucking strange-ass clutch cargo shit when you play it now. Say what? That shit was, like, amazing back in the day, because it was like, Whoa, look at their... so real. And then now you play it, and it's, it's literally a clutch cargo cartoon. I don't know what that means. You know, like, old cartoon where, like, it was just frames of people's faces, and then they used real mouths? Oh, oh. It's like, oh, Clutch, what are you doing? Like, that kind of character. Mm. And it was just, like, these gross lips. Well, say. that That's what the game was? Yeah, it, they would film their faces, and then they, like, put the filmed face as a texture on the character model. Interesting. So it looks so weird. Yeah, like those, like those video arcade games where you could put your own face onto the characters. And it would look all stretched out and bizarre. A little bit. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, man. Oh, Flickies, dude! Yay! I'm about to rescue some goddamn Flickies. Are you do fucking it. ready for this shit? Allie, do we know when the Gabriel Knight playthrough is going up? Thank you. I only bring it up because, uh, that was one of those games where, like, it's very talky. And, uh, it reminds me a little bit of what you're talking about with Alien Noir. Not so much the, um, the graphic part of it, but just, like, the, the, the pacing of it, you know? Yeah. Like, it, the, the talking is the game, in a lot of ways. Well, the whole idea behind it, they, they did it for a reason. It was, because the game's about, like, doing interrogations with people. Right. And then determining whether or not they're, like, lying. Yes. And you're supposed to see it on their face. Oh. So, like, the actors were told, like, you're lying, so, like, make it look like you're lying. Interesting. And so they'll do, like, tells, like, they'll look up to the left or whatever. Oh, I see. Um, so you can be like, you're not telling the truth, and they're like, fuck you! Are there universal things like that that people do when they lie, or is it individualized? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, like, rules. There, there's a, there's a pretty popular YouTube channel. I forget what it's called. It's a bald guy. Uh-huh. And, uh... He, he like watches interrogation videos and like and like trial videos and he's like, all right, here he's clearly lying because he's saying this thing and he's nervous because he's wringing his hands and shit like that huh. kind of stuff. Are you talking about JC criminal psychology? No, no, that's a different one. Is it? But it wouldn't it be possible? And I like I don't know anything about this type of thing, but wouldn't it be possible that they're just nervous because they're in court? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's usually like the complete uh, picture of the types of things. I see. That, that's that's why it's not like I don't think any of that is like admissible in court. Right. Sure. Um, it's just one of those things where it's like, okay, clearly they're lying here. Just so I should probably press them. Huh? You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Like interrogators are very good at that kind of shit. Oh, of course. Like the, the, what the 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 channel that Ali mentioned, JC Criminal Psychology, is more like they go through an entire interrogation video, and they'll just like they'll literally break down like everything the interrogator's doing. Mm. Where they're like, all right, the interrogators like coming in hot here because like they know that they're not telling the truth because their story doesn't match here. And, like, huh? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it's more from the interrogation side rather than the, like actual person. 
And I'm sure they're used to like compulsive liars or people that like grift for a living and stuff. So oh yeah, they, they probably kn- like are able to like I don't know uh, notice patterns. Yeah, it's patterns. Of yeah. Also, Gabriel Knight goes out on June eighth. As of I'm saying this, it may change. June what? June eighth. June eighth. Okay, so that's that's pretty soon. I'm I'm excited to see if people enjoy that because it's very chill. Um, but I'm. Hopefully, people like it, because I, I love that game as a kid. Um, and I, I just think the stories... Yeah, you, you liked it too, that made me happy. It was very fun. Yeah, it's it's just like a peaceful, interesting story with cool writing and a plot that just won't quit. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of wild YouTube... There's, I feel like there's a YouTube channel for almost anything you can think of. Uh, yeah, for sure. It, it, it is funny to, like, find that niche, too, because now I'm, like, watching a bunch of boxing videos. Sure. And that's, like, a whole thing. Of course. And and it's and it's weird to see, because now that um, Vernon is who I'm mostly training with. Right. Uh, he, he used to box, and so he's, like, boxing again. He's all excited. So, like, his YouTube algorithm is, like, exactly the same as mine. <laughs> like, I'll mention, like, oh, I just watched this video on... Uh, on Rocky Marciano or whatever, and yep. he's like, and he's like, oh yeah, the one where it talks about like this and that. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, and he's like, yeah, I watched the same one. Yeah, that dude was beastly. Um, undefeated. Yeah, totally undefeated. The, Fucking badass. The uh, there's that famous scene in Coming to America, where Eddie Murphy and um, uh, Arsenio Hall are playing like the old Jewish characters. Oh no, Eddie Murphy is the old Jewish guy. And he's like, Rocky Marciano, and like, the other guys are like, every time a white person <laughs> like, wants to be proud of a boxer, they bring up Rocky Marciano, it's, but that's how I learned about him. I laughed, but I also learned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty amazing, amazing stuff. I learned, I learned a lot from what he does. Cause, uh, and this is post-fight, so I can just say whatever I want. I'm not a speed guy. Um, I'm a, I'm a power guy. Mm-hmm. I mean, probably makes sense because I'm fucking 6'2 and I weighed 220 pounds. Right. Uh, but like, learning that there was a guy who just like, went for the knockout 100% of the just time. just pummeled people. I was like, ooh, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Let me learn from him. You think you can knock out Harley? Uh, He's really big. Do, do I think I can? Yes. Do I think I will? No. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, if I, if I had like, a, a bunch of good shots at his head. I could definitely do it. Wow. Um, we also, are. You and I are made of different stuff, man. Also, maybe his liver. <laughs> wow. Just the like. I mean, I would certainly fight if like someone I loved was in danger, or like if it's for my life or whatever. But um, just the idea of like volunteering and being like, yeah, I'll do that. Well, I, I wasn't. I, I can't even imagine it. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I'm more willing to just like do something for the experience, I guess. Sure. Uh, because it's like, hey man, if somebody else is doing it, then, you know, and so many people are doing it, like, oh, am I racing? Shit. <laughs> You've been taking it very leisurely. Yeah. Uh, whoopsie doodle. Um, what was I saying? Wow, he's way ahead of you. Oh no, is that you? No, You're ahead of him. He's way ahead of me. Oh, dang it. Uh... Yeah, I was like, I, I was actually pretty nervous going into it. Uh huh. Um, because I had never really been punched or punched. Yes. Like I did taekwondo, but that doesn't fucking count. No, it does. Uh, yeah. I don't think I ever actually punched anybody in taekwondo. Um, or kicked. Uh. <laughs> uh you lost. But once I started doing it and I got hit a bunch, I was like, oh, that's not so bad. Mm hmm. And then I just kind of got used to it. Some people love the the contact of it. Um, I don't super love that part of it. Right. I, I love punching. That's interesting. The like feeling of just like getting a good like snap is is really really satisfying. Huh. I I mean. But getting hit is just kind of like it, like it doesn't. I don't hate it. Right. Uh. But it's- I'm not like, oh yeah, fucking punch me, I love it. Yeah, I mean, there's some people that, like, it makes them feel alive. Uh, I- I- I get that. I read a lot of, um... I mean, I love football, so I read a lot of interviews, and... 
sometimes those guys will say, I mean, you see it a lot where they're just like, yeah, man, I can't wait for the season to come around and just get first contact again, just like get hit. Um, like, well, all right. <laughs> People are built differently than me. Yeah. Um, I, I do get it though, because it is, it does like awaken something in you a little bit. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. Kinda I'm not wake, asleep. Yeah, it kind of wakes you up. I'm not like, sleepwalking through life. In general. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, su I suppose I can understand that. Especially because, like, especially if you're in a fight, you know, and it's, it's like, hey, there's two minutes left. It's kind of like, okay, fuck. Yeah. You know, it's, it's now or never. Yeah. Like, I'm, it, it's not like if I'm like, stop, they're gonna be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you just gotta be like, alright, I guess I gotta fucking take it or fight back. Yeah. What, um, uh, how long are, how many rounds? Five. Five rounds! But each how long? Two minutes. Ooh, baby! Yeah, it's not so bad. It's, I mean, that's ten minutes of punching and being punched. Yeah, fifteen minutes total. It's, it's quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's, dude, it's, it's totally fine. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you get used to it. Because, I mean, when I started, it was like, yeah, I couldn't fight. I last, I went one round and I'm like, <gasps> okay, <gasps> I'm okay, <gasps> I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, but. D just getting knocked out must be so weird. Yeah, I've never had that, so. Yeah. If that happens, it's gonna be a new experience. But I've, I I've definitely been like, happen. I've almost been knocked out. Like. Really? Well, yeah, I told you about that uh, crowd surfing experience I had. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 I got dropped on my head on a cement floor. Oof. Yeah, and, and, and like everything does go white, and you sort of like leave your body a little bit, and you're like, you don't even feel pain really. You're just like, huh. I. I mean, maybe that's what it feels like when you die. It's just like, I. You know what? This isn't so bad. And then like uh -huh. you gradually come back to your body, and you're like, fucking ow! Yeah. <laughs> uh. It's, you know, it's funny. I don't know if this is true or not. This is just what I heard when when oh, fuck. Oh. when looking up like uh, stuff about like brain damage and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, because that was a concern. That must be a relaxing Google search. Yeah, it wasn't. It's like, oh, I gotta think about this shit. I mean, there's dudes like um, one of like the top. Oh, shit. oh boy, there's another one. One of the top uh, YouTube boxing guys, Tony Jeffries. Uh huh. It's like a Olympic gold medalist. Okay. Uh, he's like super against, uh, I, I mean, he's like undefeated. Nice. Um, and he's super against like head trauma. Like he's, he's like, I don't even spar with like head hits anymore. I do like shoulder sparring now. Wow. Um, so yeah, it's, it's like a pretty big concern. And there was sure. a book that came out, um, somewhat recently that talked about like the, the truths of like boxing head injury stuff. Uh huh. Um, that I haven't read, but I'm, it's on my list. If you're still capable of reading. Correct. Uh... But anyway, uh, what you were saying about everything went white. Uh, yes. Apparently, that's, that's the good one. Oh, good. Um, if everything goes white, then you're, like, fine. Okay. If everything goes black, then there's an issue. Oh, dear. Yeah. That sounds quite terrifying. I know, right? Um, what, what's the difference, like, from a physical standpoint? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. It's just, it's just so it's like a like, different part of your brain shutting down. Yeah, it's like concussive or something. Huh. Wow. But you know, you know what I did get that um, was kind of like hard to believe. You know, in um. Oh, hang on. Okay. All right. I I don't know why I stopped to hear what Rouge said because we can't understand what anyone is saying. Um, so I'm in, I'm seducing them and then killing them. Wow, you're like the Black Widow. I'm like the Black Widow. You can't understand that. They said mine. The Blonkler. <laughs> um, the uh, when I got when I got dropped on my head like that, um, it happened over the course of like 20 minutes or so. But I just like the Looney Tunes where you get the goose egg. Like, yeah, that did happen. Um. Not, like, super high, but there was, like, a big lump on, on my head that took a little while to go down. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I was like, that's... that can't be good. That has to be blood <laughs> just pooling <laughs> somewhere in my head. Yeah, I mean, it's swelling. Yeah. It's, it's, it's no fun. I hate having swollen stuff. I don't strongly remember 
the Foo Fighters from that night. <laughs> or the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I definitely don't remember the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Foo Fighters came out first, and I was like, this is awesome! And then I started crowd surfing, and then people were holding me up for a minute, and then, like, they sort of, like, as a group, realized that I was not an attractive uh, female, and then they fucking dropped me. <laughs> They were over it. Yeah, they're like, what are we holding this guy up for? <laughs> that was a good feeling. It's like, thank you for letting me die. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, I've never been there yet, so I, I you know, I can't speak from experience on that Sonic. type of thing. Um, it, it, I mean, I have gotten, like, knocked pretty hard and, like, uh, you know, nosebleeds and all that. But with, in sparring? Mm hmm I mean, there was a point where, like, I literally had to be like, so for the next week, don't hit me here. Yeah, 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 sure. Because I think there might be some permanent damage imminent. Wh wow. Uh... Do you mind if I ask where it was? Yeah, it was my left temple. That sounds like a bad place to have permanent damage. Yeah. Well, because Vernon was just like, that was his fucking move. <laughs> He's just pummeling your left yeah, temple? Yeah, he just like really loves ducking and then... and then throwing that left or right hook. Yeah, the pop. So... I just, I mean, I got used to blocking it, but at that point it was too late. And, uh, yeah, it really fucking hurt. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you need that. And I was like, um, he's, I just actually just don't hit me there. And, then, and you know, my, my coach is very cool and realistic, and he's like, don't hit him there. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Your body is a temple. Especially the temple. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Aaron. Thank you. You killed all those people in love with you. I know. It's a little sad, honestly. Yeah. But, what's it, what's it, it like doesn't load right, and then it gets all chunky. Right, where's the other key? That's what I'm looking for. That wasn't it? Uh, no, there's like a floating key. Oh, in this world? Yeah. I see. I'm missing a floating key. I need to find it to, uh, get to the bows. You know, like a bows. <laughs> Remember, remember, like a bow, like a bows, <laughs> and the fish, and the lady is like, like a bow. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then in the music video, it, he's like, like a bow. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's good. You've seen it, right, though? Yeah, yeah. Right. Which one? The I think it was um, it was the one where he's like, like a bow. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's the one. Yes. Just came back to me. He's like. Like a bow. <laughs> Good luck, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. That looked like a really nice place you just fucked up. It's okay. That looked like they served good sushi. It's not real. Well, great point. Can't argue with you there. It's like the um it's like the bar from Lost in Translation. Aaron, we're on the internet. You think something not being real is gonna stop me from being upset about its destruction? <laughs> You're so right, then. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, the, the bar from Lost in Translation, I, I, uh, you can go to that bar, it's in Shinjuku. Really? Yeah. It's, it's pretty, beautiful. It's pretty nice. Um, you get like a nice view of like the, the park. There's a lot of places I want to see. I want to go to the dive bar in Toronto where Jeff Goldblum breaks the guy's arm in the fly. Oh shit. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be cool. I love that. It's in that. Toronto, that's good, that's good to know. Yeah, I think it's in Toronto. I've got a lot of, uh, got a lot of weird, dumb goals. Yeah, that, that kind of stuff is pretty dope. When I first moved here and I learned all the, like, Back to the Future stuff, mm -hmm. I fucking love that movie. Yeah, go to Doc's house. Yeah, you can go to his office, um, where Marty comes out and skateboards. Yeah. Uh, you can go to the Twin Pines Mall. Mm-hmm. In Puente Hills. That's where the round one we yeah. used to go to is. Um, where else? Oh, you can you can actually go to Hill Valley. Whoa. Uh, that's in Universal Studios. Very cool. Very cool. It's like there's so much Back to the Future shit you can do here. Yeah, it was all here. And then I guess uh, I think the I think Haddonfield is here. Apparently the the hedge that Michael Myers creepily watches Jamie Lee Curtis from is uh, right in Pasadena. Yes, that's yeah, that the 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 Laurie Strode house. Yes. Is is there. That's Haddonfield. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah! 
I only know that because of Dead by Daylight. <laughs> that is a bad killer level. A good survivor level. Anyway. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Wow. This is like this is like a Mr. Driller, dude. Killer Thriller Driller. I can fucking get down with this. I love Mr. Driller. Mr. Driller, could I be a killer? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I guess I'm out of here. Good. <laughs> Great job, Aaron. I got the key, baby. All right. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> I dip my fries in iced crab. <laughs> oh! Oh yeah! All right, all right, all right. We made it. Put the last key in, and next time on Game Grumps, we will go and fight the bowels. I Dude, guess. I feel like we're making good progress in this game. Fight the bowels. Maybe. Who was the last bowels? Can't remember. It all blends together. Oh, it was the Eggman. The truck. Eggman. Yes. <laughs> and he, he hopped up and down, and you had to hit him in the butt. Oh, that's right. That was right. the last battle. Nah, that's right. Yeah. Well, the gate's now all open, so we will see you tomorrow? Yeah. Question mark? Yes. We'll see you soon. All right. Goodbye, Bye, everyone. Blue streak speeds by Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow. Running around at the speed of friendship. Oh. <laughs> okay. I love you. Love to eat.